Namaste. I am Prakash Yadagurde, based in Fulham and Hammersmith area in West Kensington. I am teaching Bhattanatyam at Bharti Vidya Bhavan, the Bhavan Centre, West Kensington, past 36 years. I came to this country in 1984. I would like to introduce my family first. And it's my me, my wife Rama, Akshay, and Avinash. My Rama, my wife Rama, she is uh, working. Uh, she was working in uh, CAD and now she is a freelancer and Akshay, he just finished his medicine, he was in 19, sorry, 2017, he was participated in BBC Young Dancers competition, he was one of the finalists of South Asian Dancers competition and Avinash, he is doing his uh, chemical engineer final year and also he is singing for me. I am very grateful to Shushakti Shivanation. She was singing for my, all my arrangatum, all my functions. Later she stopped uh, singing for dance but she encouraged Avinash to sing for me. And I am from, I born in Edegude. Edegude is a place where, uh, it's a beautiful place and uh, it's in Shumoga district, Karnataka state. When I started my journey in dance, basically my father is the main cause of it. And he is, by profession, he is a medical doctor but uh, uh, he is always fond of drama, dance and music like that he was always uh, going for it and uh, in many of the drama rehearsals he was taking me there and asking me to watch it uh, anyhow it was uh, one of his dream that one of his uh, 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 children should take fine arts first he insisted my elder brother but he became a doctor and later he tried to ask my younger one but he, he is showing a lot of interest in Vridangam and he started playing the Vridangam later he is also become a doctor and we are totally in seven in number four brothers and two sisters all four brothers become doctor except me I am the dancer and my sisters, one become the dentist and another one become the teacher. And, but um, my sister was started dancing. My father was asking me to take my sister to the dance school by bike. I was taking her. Whenever I was taking my sister to the dance class, after dropping her inside, I was standing outside and watching the dance class many times. It was a very nice feeling for me uh, to watch. Looking at that, the teacher, Prabhavati teacher, we called her, and she said, why are you waiting outside? Why don't you come inside, sit next to me and watch? How do you, actually, actually, I was so happy to go inside and then watching her, watching the dance class. And while watching the dance class, probably I was doing some gestures, maybe showing a lot of interest. And the teacher asked me to go back, uh, back line and try your own way, start imitating them. That's what she said. I went to the uh, back line and started uh, following the other girls of the dance crew. One day she said, why don't you come in the front line? 
I can see that you, you are showing a lot of enthusiasm to dance. Why don't you come in front? And then she asked me to uh, show the dance, some of the dance movements to the girls also. That will trigger me also because I was thinking I'm the boss in the class. <laughs> Later, the, the school has a lot of performances every, every time and then in many occasions like uh, 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 Ram Naomi, Janmashmi or Shivaratri like that. And one, 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 one of the years you know, she, uh, when there was a uh, when there was a uh, performance, uh, annual performance, uh, we invited, they invited Professor U.S. Krishna Rao and Chandra Bhagavad ba ba uh, to the dance performance as chief guest. In, in that performance, when I was performing, and after the performance, we do go and take the blessing of the great artist, and that's why we, we all went there. And when I was doing pranam to him, and he said, uh, what are you doing? And I was, at that time, the teenager, I'm strong and uh, dancing good also, I think. That's why he said, uh, if I, I told him that, you know, I just finished my A-level, that means pre-university in India. And uh, at that time, my, I, I applied for engineering and I, I was not thinking about anything else. At that time, uh, he told me that in Bangalore University, they just started a dance degree. Why don't you come there? You can participate there and uh, you, you can join that uh, university and we are all going to support you. That's what he said. I was so happy. I went to my, uh, my father and told him. He was always 100% assuring me and then encouraging me. He said, okay, no problem. And then what he did is, uh, he, I, next day I packed my bag and then went with my brother who was studying medicine in Bangalore. I went there. When I come back to Bangalore and uh, I joined the uh, university, BA in dance. That was the first, uh, uh, they just started that course. And there I met uh, Mrs. Vijay Martanda and Dr. H. K. Ranganath. They are the three people like Professor Yash Krishna Rao, Vijay Martanda and Dr. H. K. Ranganath. They, they are the three people is the cause for my progress in dance. And while in, in Bangalore, and yes, Krishna, he was always very kind. He said that you, you can come to my home anytime and join the class. I was going uh, in early morning in eight o'clock to dance classes and I stayed. And I was, he was asking me to watch the dance girls, uh, dance class first. Later you can do your class. I was, every day I was going and 8 to 11, I would sit and watch. And later, I, uh, he was teaching me extra classes. Sometimes there is no class because, uh, you know, sometimes I get up and then join with those girls and dancing. And uh, when I uh, finished uh, finish the classes, in, in like old Guru Kula, you know, he would, I was doing some uh, housework like that. Uh, getting the rations and the post office and rest of the things I was doing. Sometimes I would stay back and have food and the evening class also I finish it and go back. And Vijay Martanda, she was one of the other person. I, uh, she always encouraged me and then she took me to Bombay, Susinga, some such functions and then I danced there. There, I still remember that Dr. Sunil Kothari has a right very high above me and uh, one, my co-dancer. Uh, that, that was also very nice. After, when I'm in Bangalore University, I was traveling uh, and, and doing performances through Bangalore University in different colleges. At that time, the Vice Chancellor, Heth Nassimayar, he, he wanted to promote uh, uh, dance, drama and music department 
he organized the performances in all the colleges of Bangalore universities. So we were going, in uh, whole year we have performances all the 12, 12 months, going to different, different colleges and performing uh, uh, dance, drama and music. M uh, mine is uh, 30 minutes and then a 30 minutes drama and 30 minutes music like that one and a half hours functions they are doing. And even the, uh, um, the uh, Bangalore University provided a big bus so we can, it was a really nice joyful occasion and then I really enjoyed the, those times. But as soon as I finished my degree, I was just thinking what to do next. Ex again, the question mark comes. It happens in the beginning also. Here also the same thing because, you know, at that time, those times, that is 1970s, the boys taking dance is uh, very rare and people usually don't like. Uh, it's, uh, mainly it's the vacational course. And... Uh, I was thinking what to do for the livelihood now and too young to teach and get the money or get into a job or anything and there is not enough performances to go and do it. The department when I'm studying, as a student I have the performances. If I become individual, after my dance um, uh, degree, I, uh, many of the places I was going and dancing were going, they would call us in a, in a uh, uh, taxi while coming back. No taxi, we have to just looking after myself and then have to come myself. I, I really disappointed for me. And then uh, I joined the printing press. One of my friends here, the printing press, he called me, why didn't you come and then uh, work in printing press? I worked for nearly seven to eight hours. The hours also very strange. Nine o'clock till 9 p.m. So it's, it's nearly 12 hour course and uh, uh, work uh, in a printing book. As a manager, it's not much heavy things, but I had to be there. When I was there, I was taking my books and sitting and reading and then looking around. Uh, it's a big press, but uh, because it's a friend's one, it was a nice one. And, uh, and then Dr. Ramna called me one day, why you are you doing this one? You're a good artist and you're a really good uh, you should uh, um, progress in your art field, especially in Bhatanatyam. So that look here, there, there is a two, one university, MS University in Gujarat, Brauda. Uh, you can go there and then study your PG course, or you can go to Kalakshetra, or you can go to um, Mayadi's uh, Natya Insta Choreography in Delhi. I choose Mayadi's uh, Natya Insta Chore choreography and she offered me a job also there. Of course I was already thinking about the job and the dance together because I always get a little bit insecure in that probably. And then when I went to Mayaji, it was a nice feeling because um, at the same scary also because I don't know the language, I need to learn Hindi and because I knew only Kannada at that time a few English words and things. And uh, when I went there, uh, we had the course, three, th three years course, and in the first year we need to do a small one scene or two scene choreography on, on a music, given music. Usually Anil Bishwasji, a great musician, music director in the cinema field and also, and uh, his music I need to choreograph. The same method I used in the Bhavan when I came here also because uh, I, I, my idea was always giving the same music for 10 people, how we choreograph, but we had to choreograph completely different. That is something interesting because the theme we had to plot, everything we had to do ourselves, uh, no help from anyone. In the second year I did Bhagavata Jukyam, dance drama, and it's a Sanskrit play, a beautiful one. And the final year, a contemporary theme we supposed to take and then use that. I did Mogapuridamana, it's a, a novel written by Dr. Shivram Karan. It was a very good, for Shivram Karanji's uh, uh, Mogapuridamana, uh, I got the inspiration because Mayaji has taken me to a uh, performance in Kamani Auditorium. At that time, uh, 
the Bolshoi Theatre from Russia, they were visiting uh, uh, India through ICCR and the theme is Shakuntala. Shakuntala is a dance drama which we all know Kalidas as well and uh, Mayaji has choreographed, specially choreographed when she was there in Russia. Looking at the artists, they are all uh, English artists, sorry, uh, Russian artists and uh, the uh, music is Western and theme is Indian and uh, equally blended all the Abhinayas, Angika, Vajika, Harya, Satvika, so beautiful. Uh, I never expected like that. I said, let me do the same kind of, uh, using the, just the instrumental music and do the performances. That's the reason I did the Mogaparidamana, only instrumental music. After finishing the choreography, uh, I got some more uh, you know, experience in the, uh, joining uh, uh, because I was working in Atta Ballet Center. I got the chance to go to Andhra Pradesh. Uh, the, Dr. Chana Reddy, he was the chief minister, then chief minister. He said uh, uh, he organized performances, Srinivasa uh, Vilasamu, in Telugu actually, a dance drama choreographed by. Mayaji and uh, we, we all went there to perform. It was a really beautiful, but the only thing, the first performance is when I went there, in the very beginning, you know, from Bangalore to uh, Hyderabad, I went there at that time. Uh, I didn't know how to do the makeup and things. And I was just waiting for the makeup man to come and do my face. So I didn't know that I was doing Shiva that also and I never did the, you know, doing myself everything. One makeup man will come and do the makeup for me. Six o'clock happened, I was just waiting who's going to do it and then in, in time they start the ballet. There's no waiting for, usually people say that Indian time, Indian time. Here there is nothing, six o'clock means six o'clock start. It was the performance at 6.30. Till six o'clock my makeup is not ready. I was so worried about it. I got only a makeup kit in front of me. And then I looked at the next, uh, next uh, here, here and there. Other friends were sitting there and then they quickly helped me in the beginning. And later I learned, of course, yeah, because every day we have a performance. Sometimes two performances and sometimes uh, every, uh, for a month completely. Because uh, generalities guess, as a generalities guess, we have got all the facilities on top of that a big bus going around, uh, that, then the Andhra Pradesh is a big uh, state. We went to Nello, Gudu, Buntu, uh, a lot of places we did. And then through the ICCR, Mayaji has organized Europe too, and then we went to, uh, we went to uh, all neighboring countries, and then Australia, and many places we went, Indonesia, all these places, it's so beautiful experience. I really liked it very much. And then I said, I'm all right now. At that time, again, choreography, everything goes to end one day. It's not that you know, it's continuous. We can't ex expect everything like that. As soon as I finished choreography, think what is the next again? It started coming as a question mark to me. And uh, oh, I was thinking, let me go to Bangalore and started dance class. So I was, uh, I think it, I was 25, something like that. And then I didn't want to get help from father also because of course he's a doctor. They could have easily given me the money and things. But it, it made me a little bit feel bad to ask money from my father. So uh, let me start my own life now. So I thought to pack myself and try to go to Bangalore and, uh, and start there. One day all of a sudden a telegram came in the telegram it says, are you interested to go to London, Bhatiya Devon, and teach Bhatanatyam there? I was shocked. I thought somebody is doing some prank on me. And then I just put it into the dustbin. <laughs> it's a telegram. In the olden days, telegram was it. Nowadays it's WhatsApp and things, yeah. And, but uh, uh, that time is the telegram. And after 15 days, I had no, I didn't answer anything, I just kept quiet and only I sent a message to my father 
this is what happened and then probably he made out scene uh, and then uh, investor who is that, that meanwhile dr h k rangnath he was in bharti vidya bhavan director at that time he telephone to my father also your son is not replying anything what is the matter <laughs> and because dr h k rangnath is always fond of me and always want to do something for me uh, and that, that's how he again sent quickly uh, accepted otherwise that job is going then i immediately i booked the ticket in uh, by rail kk express from delhi to bangalore is nearly 200 uh, 2000 miles nearly yeah and then immediately cancel that one and then get a flight and come back to bangalore when i come back to the bangalore and what happened is uh, i didn't have a visa uh, i had I mean, a passport uh, to get the passport at least that time it was one month so i always got it in 15 days and afterwards uh, i got the visa for coming to london and that time there was a function in uh, bhavan so they asked me to come quickly and then uh, do a performance for the educational ministry here uh, and uh, because bowen's inauguration full time dance uh, department dance music and everything yeah and then the immigration was not cleared uh, then I, i was tossing around by the passport office from bangalore to uh, the bombay bombay to bangalore saying that i had no idea what to do finally asked master ji how i can sir he every time telephone me telephoning me why you are not coming why you are not, are you not interested uh, all this thing every time you are asking i keep on saying these things and it's quite difficult for people to understand what immigration clearance usually if you have a passport if you have a visa you can come directly here but the problem is uh, this is the uh, difficult things i came to and then I, uh, well, as soon as i got the immigration clearance and then i came to uh, bhavan in london and matthew just came to receive me and it was uh, a little bit difficult for me because you know i'm first time i'm traveling from uh, my country to other country alone before i was going in a groups but uh, this time alone then what to do who is matthew i never knew who is matthew ji or and because do is from the same uh, uh, city but uh, we never met or never see his picture or anything so easy to see him because as soon as i landed in heathrow airport i saw him with the dhoti and kurta and that's it i thought he's a person he took me home very fatherly person and i always think about him in my life he brought me home and made me feel comfortable and nanda ji was there and uh, it's such a beautiful uh, uh, you know when especially when you leave the country and come alone and no uh, language also see i have a problem in hindi i went there maya ji look after me whole thing for food also maya ji look after me every time whenever i have hungry anything she will call me home and then he her pure love and affection for her disciple is something remarkable same thing i saw it when i come to london matthew ji was there and his family and uh, matthew ji is uh, this is matthew ji and uh, my mom i call my mom that's the reason uh, and they they are like my father and mother in london it was uh, i i really enjoyed staying here because i felt another another home in london so first home is tirthali with my real parents and brother and sisters and uh, afterwards uh, uh, i came to bomb uh, bangalore i have stayed krishna rao vijayamarthanda like home and then i came to delhi my home is completely entire home and then i came to london matuji is and my mom was looking after very good um, very, very much my first day in teaching is something very nice actually 
because I have only five students, so they are the people. Yeah, this yep. is Geeta, Veena, Nina, Meera. They are the full and the Shanti. There's uh, my senior student is there. This is the one. This is Shanti. Shanti Rajeshri. And this is the photo. And they were only, when I came in 1984, they are only my students. My class started at 10 o'clock and finished at 3 o'clock. And they will come at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Okay, fine. After so I asked them to stay back with me. And of course, Nina was only hanging on every time staying with me till 3 o'clock and then working hard uh, towards her. She's a very determined and uh, in a, uh, a very talented girl. That, and from the, that time, she was only a teenage, 13, I think, and her sister, Geeta, she was uh, 11 years, I think. And After that, uh, I was, I went up, after some time, you know, I was doing a dance dramas and a lot of functions happening at the Bhavan and uh, during Shivaratri and, uh, and many functions, all Indian festivals we celebrated the Bhavan and I took the, all the girls to do performance and things. That's how we started developing the dance, uh, dance section in Bhavan and uh, I was so fortunate one day uh, Ram Gopalji came to my uh, my class. This is Ram Gopalji. This is Ra Ram Gopalji. Sita is there, and myself and Akshay. And he was coming to my class at, uh, once in fifteen days and uh, talking about dance and how. Uh, Mina, uh, uh, Tata, Tata is his teacher, that means uh, Minakshi Sundaram Pillai, uh, he was his teacher and, and also my uh, teacher, Yus Krishna, also learned from the same guru, uh, Minakshi Sundaram Pillai and then uh, when he come to me once in 15 days and then as if my own teacher is there to permit uh, you know, relay on anything and uh, my first Tarangetan happened, uh, and I think it is 1988, I think, yes. and uh, this is Ram Gopal, Shanti Nagaraj, and myself. He was the chief guest for, uh, for, the, for the Arangetan. He spoke really good, and uh, he was very proud of me. And later, uh, while doing these Arangetans and uh, uh, you know, functions and for, for composing perform uh, dances for the bhavan and thing. It, it's not I. I can't do alone. My colleagues were there. The beautiful team at that time. Shiv Shakti was there, and uh, uh, Chandru, Violin Chandru, Bhavani Shankar, Mridangam. They were all there. They were given complete support for me. Whenever I asked them, they come to rehearsal. Of course, the key is. Nandaji, because he always encourages these things and then he allow, uh, asks everyone to come and help Prakash so that. And Shiv Shakti is, uh, I think me and Shiv Shakti started together in 1984 and then uh, in almost all Arangetrams, over 75 Arangetrams, she sang uh, uh, without showing any uh, hesitation because it, my Arangetam is not, not like that, to calling the musician just for five days. My Arangetam, as soon as weeks, I call the musician, sit next to me and then start composing and then all, all these difficulties comes. But she sacrificed all, all, the, all of her other engagement and come and then helping me for uh, Arangetams. And then, and then there is Balu Raghuram, now we have the Balu Raghuram and we have Balachandra here. They're always helping me. 
Of course, Bowen is my second home. I can't say that one because uh, I live next door. I made the extended home as a extended home. Bowen is my extended home now. So always go there. I go in the morning, eight o'clock, met sometimes for the rehearsal during Arangetram, and then uh, sometimes uh, finish at 11 o'clock, like that. Of course, now the, uh, the caretaker, uh, Narayan is there, he's always allowing me to stay back, no problem. And we don't uh, work one to eight, one to five, and like that. Whenever the student comes, we increase them. I am very happy to see my students who have taken dance as professions like Nina Rajarani and uh, of course she's very hard working and then uh, danced for more than 10 years with me and then uh, uh, she got the scholarship from Arts Council to go and then study in India also. We now also got the same thing and uh, uh, when and Subhadra and Mayuri Bunam, Magdalene they are all there uh, in my in my class, and then now they have taken as a profession. I will, I am very happy to see them. So Subhadra is now she is heading the academy, and Mayuri Bunam she has her own uh, da uh, dance company, and Magdalene she finished her thesis. I am so happy, Magdalene. All the best. And my second generation students. Sita. Sita is, I can't say she's like my own daughter because I went to Heathrow and carried her on my lap and then brought to Bowen with uh, uh, Nanda and Janaki together. And from the beginning she was staying in my dance class. Uh, whenever, even, even I think one year or six months I think, I always, because I, I always carry her and bring her on my lap and sit there in the half year when I'm teaching. Like that she learned dance and after getting married she went back to uh, Bangalore and started her own dance class. And last uh, two years before I went to her first Arangetram students uh, Arangetram. I, uh, I, um, I, it's such a pleasant and a very beautiful occasion. I was feeling that very happy. And there are other girls like Hema, Priya Hema, and Bhavana, and uh, Devi, and Shivangi, uh, many others, uh, is seriously taking dance as a career. And uh, of course, Priya Hema, Bhavana, uh, and Devi, they started their own classes. It's very nice, they're taking classes somewhere in uh, Crowley, or, or one in Reading, one in Milton Keynes. Whenever they need help from me, always uh, they are welcome, they come to me. If I have any performances, all the girls will come. And we spend at least 15, uh, 15 days and a minimum of 7 days and work every day and make it a successful. All my performances, I should thankful to their mummies, like Priya, uh, uh, Priya Hema's mummy or Bhavana's mummy or Lakshmi's mummy, they all come, do the uh, makeup, dress, everything, all the arrangement for the da dance functions they do. And my, the next generation is the Lakshmi. Lakshmi is a very brilliant girl and uh, she's a very good dancer, very good choreographer and uh, she's, um, by profession she is a, a GP, doctor. And, but uh, of course, uh, I usually tell them, don't worry about, uh, um, you need to take a good profession and then you should do the dance also. She keep, keep it that word. Every Thursday she come for my class, even in case if she miss because of her work, she will make sure that she will come other day and then stay with me and then study and go. And Shweta was there and Madhu Mahima. Madhu Mahima is also very interesting girls because one is in Lauborough studying art, another one is in uh, Cambridge studying medicine, final year at that time. They had a performances, they were watching um, uh, on Skype and studying those things. I did dance drama in uh, the phase. 
uh, this is my photo and uh, it was funded by uh, Arts Council and I brought the, all my experiences well, as a, uh, uh, my, when I was in Bangalore, I was uh, working in a printing press, everything I brought it those one. You know, it, it's helpful for me because I was with Mayaji, I was uh, going to Sahitya Kala Parishad, Sahitya Academy, they, they keep that uh, old Uday Shankarji's um, uh, videos and things, we watched that and we learned a lot of things. And when it comes to the, my students, I always giving them an uh, opportunity. If I'm doing an arangetram, that is, that means they need to do uh, some. Most of the time, they to with me and help me to take the class. At the same time, if there's any functions, they have to choreograph themselves and show me how they are going to do it. And uh, that will give me a incentiveness for the other girls to that. Uh, to keep an interest in dance. It's not that three years diploma class, class finished, they will go home and say goodbye. After the Arangetram also they will say goodbye. It's nothing like that. Now the junior girls are there, like Divi, Roshani, Shivahami, Abhirami, I'll name a few of them, but of course there are plenty, all of them actually. They are very much interested. Then they come, well, many of them was asking me, Aren't you? But because sometimes I leave them to take the class, and uh, they they get uh, uh, after one hour or two hours they get tired, and then they say that, "Will you? How can you uh, take from nine to five continuously? It's very tiring." Uh, I told them that you know we get the energizing like they are our batteries. All the students are like batteries, and uh, that I will get more energizing when I see their smile and twinkle in their eyes and uh, the sweet talk. Of course, I have a class, uh, girls from years 7 to uh, 50, 60, 50, all of them, Some many many classes, mommy, daddy, as well as the children come to the class in one class. So it's, it's, it, this will give us uh, more support. And in the meantime, of course, Bhavan Nandaji is always there to help me and uh, for my translating my Sanskrit or any other languages for my composing things. And, uh, and I want to thank at this time to the great dancers who always, uh, whenever they come to the Bhavan, we call them for workshop and things and always helping me, like Chitraka, nearly uh, Chitra Vishweshwaran, we dearly call her Chitraka. Nearly 10 years she was came and coming to Bhavan and they helped me and give me incentiveness and uh, in, in Bhatanatyam thing. And Krishnamini Akka, so beautiful, two years she came and helped me. And Saraswati Aunty, for nearly six, seven years she came and then helped me. Many times when Padmaka comes, Padma Subramaniam, and uh, uh, she was always uh, blessing me with her ideas and then it's, uh, the, the blessing of all these great artists in the field uh, is something uh, I, I, I keep it forever. Shantaka was there, Dhananjay Nana is there. But always, uh, last time when I went to the went, uh, went to uh, Chennai and did an Arangetram for uh, uh, Madhu and Mahima, uh, and they all came to my uh, Arangetram and they blessed. And both of them, and to me, it's, it's an honor. And Chitraka was the chief guest for my Arangetram. It's time. And, uh, and I would like to uh, dance, uh, a minute dance. Uh, I, would, I, would, I would get ready and then show it to you. Thank you. One, one second. Mm, yeah. And I want to show, this is my picture. This is my picture. Uh, uh, drawn by Maggie, an Australian painter, and she took my kurta and draw, uh, put the painting there. Uh, so beautiful she has done. I always thankful to her. And uh, this is Akshay and Avinash. 
uh, they are doing the Mridangam and I was saying that, you know, when I, my family is very fortunate to have Bhavan close to my house uh, so that I can, I can go to the Bhavan at any time and then practice and that's the reason uh, now Avinash is dancing for me. Uh, I, uh, for my, uh, all my Arangetan, he's, uh, he's uh, helping me in Okal. This is, this is Avinash, and uh, it's me, and Atul. Atul and Kalayarasan, our Jnani, they're all there for my performances in Arangetans and things. And this is Akshay, my wife, and me, and Avinash. Now I'm doing a, a small piece, which is a very old piece, uh, it's on Ganesha's Tuti, and it was danced by my teacher, probably he was learning from his, uh, 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 his teacher, I think the recording was uh, done, uh, the tape rec uh, recording sometimes in 1950 or 1960s sometimes. The quality is like that, that, that kind. At the time they were using the clarinet, violin, everything. Uh, uh, that, that's, uh, that's the one I'm going to do. It's on Ganesha. Volunteers in Manchuke, Ambika, Subalakshmi, Suhasin, Suhani, and Vidya Patel, as voluntarily they are working, especially in this lockdown situation. Thank you very much. Tomorrow, please join Ashwini Kalseka, a young brilliant Kathak dancer on Manchuke at 6 p.m. Please come. Stay safe. Thank you very much. <laughs>